Okay, let's begin by going up to File and New. And I'll create a title for the project right here. And then uh, you want to make sure that you're set here to pixels. And you want the width and height to be 2,000 pixels. And then the resolution is 72 pixels per inch. Okay, so make sure you have these settings before you hit the OK button right here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to just unlock this layer right here and uh, we'll call this BG for background. And then let's add in a new layer. And I'm gonna call this divider. Okay, and I'm just gonna change the color here to red. And I'm going to uh, make sure my rulers are showing. So I'll go to view and then hit rulers right here if it's not up already. Take my move tool and I'm going to drag this over and I want it to snap to the center here. So right there, it's just snaps to the center. All right. So as you move it, you can feel it. It'll snap at some point. Okay. Same thing here. I'm going to drag the ruler from here down and it will snap. Okay. So now I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to trace these lines here for the divider. Okay, so I'm going to lock this layer. I don't want to be able to modify the divider layer. Okay, I'm now going to get rid of these rulers. So I'll push them back into the edges of the uh, workspace here. And I'm now going to create a new layer and I'm just going to call this rough. This is going to be a rough sketch and then we're going to draw the front view of our teddy bear. All right, so I'm going to take my uh, brush here switch to black and I'm gonna change my I'm gonna zoom in here so I'll zoom in so now I'm just gonna draw in um, a rough outline for the uh, character in the front view here so I'm not gonna be too concerned with the quality of my line work here I'm just trying to find the shapes that I need so now I'm gonna speed up the footage just to um, make this whole process a little bit faster. You can pause the video and um, copy the style of drawing that I'm doing here um, if it's going too fast. So this is all just rough drawings in here and um, I'm just trying to get a basic idea of what's happening with my character here. So I'll draw out the uh, different arms and legs. I'm going to move the arm up a little bit here. And now we're back to our regular speed. So let's talk about mirroring this. So I'm going to take this side right here and delete it. And I'll just marquee select this side. I'll hit Command C and then Command V. And then I'll go to Edit, Transform, and go to Flip Horizontal. Take my Move tool and I'll just move this over here. And there we've got an outline for our bear. All right, so I'm going to just merge this take the opacity on this down and then I'm going to call this we'll do this is going to be front this will be our front and now I'm going to zoom in here and I'll draw in a final line work here okay so now the footage is going to be sped up again as I just as I just complete the finished line work so again, it's moving fast, but this should be fairly simple to do on your own without having any instruction. So you can see here I'm making some changes as I see fit. Um, I am always want to feel free to move away from my sketch and draw something new. It's just a reference point for me. Okay, so I'm going to turn off my ref layer here and we'll just copy over the final layer. So I'll select this. Hit Command C, Command V, and we'll transform this. We'll flip it. Switch to my Move tool. Move this over. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here, and let's say I'm going to turn off the divider layer for a moment and just fill this stuff in. All right, so once again, the footage is sped up here and I'm just cleaning up my drawings, okay? So there's a couple of areas because I mirrored this that are not quite fully finished. So I just wanna be able to uh, clean this up a little bit.
So now what I'll do is I'll turn my divider back on and then I'm going to just hit Command A, select everything, and then hit Command T. Hold down the Shift key and we're going to shrink this down to here. So I'll hit Return, hit Command D. All right, so there we go. We've got the first drawing right here. So now um, I can get rid of this rough layer. I don't need that. And I'll go add a new layer. And this is going to be side ref. OK. So I'll hit Command Plus. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second divider, or I'll add a new layer, Guidelines. OK. And then I'll change the color here to maybe blue. And I'm going to draw in some lines here. So I'm going to hold down Shift and draw uh, a line. So each of these lines, I'm just trying to give a marker for the basic uh, major proportions on the character. Um, and then I'll change like I'll change my color here. And we'll add in some more guidelines so we can figure out, let's say, uh, the eyes might be a different color. So the reason I use different colors is, for example, on the eyes here, if I know that I need to draw the eyes, I know all I need to do is draw in between those two green lines. If they're all the same color, sometimes it gets a little bit confusing. Let's do different color there. It's a little bit hard to see, so maybe I'll switch to maybe purple for the bottom of the ear there. Okay. And maybe the bottom of the the arm. Okay, and maybe the top of the foot. On the uh, side rough layer here, I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'll switch to black here, and I just want to measure Actually, let's uh, let's just copy and paste the head shape here. Okay, so go to the front layer, copy that, go to the side rough layer, paste it. Okay, place it right here. So basically, what I want to do is I just want to take my eraser and erase most of this. Just want to get the width of the head here. Okay. So now I can draw the head shape. And I really want to be conscious of the two blue lines here. So I want to make sure that as I'm drawing that I'm staying within those blue lines. You can see my sketch is a little bit over that line, so I'll have to fix that later or just at least remember that I went over that line. Okay. So I've drawn a basic shape for the head and I'm thinking about the height of it, but I'm also thinking about, you know, how does the snout look from the side view versus the front view? Okay, the shape is going to be different, and what is that going to look like? For the body here, I took a line from the front view and moved it over to the side view because I thought I wanted to have the body, the uh, depth be as long as the width. And um, I tried that shape out and I didn't really like it. So in a few moments, I'm going to change it. But for now, I'm just working on the leg. I want to move that back a little bit. OK, so now I'll lasso the body and scale it in. And I'd like this more narrow shape better. And as long as I maintain the same height as the front view, it's totally fine. Okay, So some things you can change and some things you can't change. We've established the height of the torso in the front view. So that can't change, but the depth has not been established. So we can change that when we draw the side view. So now I'm adding in some additional guidelines for the uh, the tip of the snout on his nose. Go to the rough layer here. And now that I've switched back to this rough layer, I can paint in the nose. Okay, So I should have remembered to draw those guidelines in for the nose. But uh, sometimes you forget things. So now I'm going in and I'm just kind of making some final changes here. I want the nose to be a little bit larger. And I'll take this now and push it in a little bit more. 
and um, I can do that. I can push the snout in because we haven't determined the length of it yet. We only know the height. The height is between those two red lines. So here we go. We're going to add in an ear. And again, I want to be conscious of the fact that my sketch right now is going slightly above that blue line. So I need to remember that. Okay, so now we need to go down and create another new layer here. So we'll click on that new layer button. And now we'll switch back to the side rough layer and let's take the opacity on that side rough layer down. And then I'll go to layer one and we'll just call this side. And then I'll take my paintbrush here and I'll start to paint some final line work here. Now I want to be careful of this line right here. I can see I drew my rough layer a little bit higher than I should have. So I need to be conscious of that. The top of the head is right here. Okay, so we don't want to go any higher than that. I'm going to take my rough layer down a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm just going to go in and finish up the final line work here. So I'm focusing on the smoother lines and I do want to focus on accuracy. Um, not much has to be explained here. You're just basically tracing over your lines and making small corrections as you go through and do this final line work. So you can see down here at the bottom, um, I did not measure that correctly. So I want to go in and fix that, making sure that the, the bottom of the torso touches that blue line so that it's the same in the front view and the side view. So now I'm going to hide the side rough layer here. And we've got just the side layer here, the final version. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit, take my marquee selection here, and I'm going to marquee select this whole area right here. And then I'll switch to my move tool and I want to just slide this back a little bit. I want to put the side view of the character right in the middle of the, uh, the panel here. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to turn off the guidelines. I'll hit Command D here. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and I just want to draw a line from here going straight towards the center line here. Okay, So I need to know the distance from the edge of the frame to the character because I'm going to copy and paste this. Okay, So I'm going to hit Command C, Command V, and I'm going to move this and I'll move this over. And now I'm going to hit Command T to rotate this. I'll hold down Shift rotate this like so and then bring it down okay so this is necessary to get the distance because when we draw the top view over here that we need to know it needs to be the head and shoulders and everything needs to be the same distance from the edge of the frame as the side view okay so now I'm gonna go back to my guidelines layer we'll put another guidelines layer on here I'll put guidelines to okay so now here what we're gonna do is we'll take this stuff I'll choose a new color here and again we're gonna put in guidelines going up and going this way I don't want to figure that out. And then let's see, we'll put in some different colored lines for the arms. Hands are going to go out to here. And then I'll change the color, and uh, that way we can kind of tell where the hands start and stop. Having all these different colors really helps with the organization. So on this new layer, this is just a measurement. Okay, let's create a new layer. This is going to be our top layer. Let's go to guidelines two and lock that. Let's go to the top layer here and let's paint. 
So we have to look at the circumference of the head. Oh, we, need, we also need a center line here, so let's put that in. Okay, so we will lock this, go back to the top layer, and let's draw in a round shape for the head. All right, so now I'm going to speed up the footage here and just roughly sketch in the bear in the top view. I'm using the guidelines that I've created so that I make sure I place each uh, part of the body in the right location. And I'm just going in here and touching up this stuff. And right here I'm adding two rulers because I forgot to add in some guidelines for where the ears should be placed. So I'll move those rulers back and now I can kind of rough in and draw the ear from the top view. So now I'm going to take the opacity down on that layer and create a new layer and I'll draw in a final line work for the top view. Okay, that's all we really need. So now, uh, let's see, we'll get rid of this, delete that. We'll call this top, and we'll select it, and we'll copy, paste, we'll go up to edit, go down to transform, and go to flip horizontal. And then I'll take my move tool, I'll slide that over, and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it in towards the center here so that it lines up with my guidelines. All right, so now I'll hit command minus. Now we have basically what we need here. So I'm going to turn off the visibility on the guidelines layer. I'm going to turn off the measurement. So now we're, let's save this. We'll go to file, uh, save. I'll save it in my documents folder. And now what I want to do is export this. So let's go to the divider, turn that off. And let's go to image canvas size. We'll switch to pixels and we'll type in 1000 by 1000. We'll start in the corner here. So we'll anchor here and there's our top view. So we'll go to file save as and we'll just save it as a JPEG and this will be top.jpg and I'll hit save. Hit OK. Then I'm going to hit command option Z and I'll go to canvas size again. This time we'll anchor in the bottom. Go to pixels, type in 1000 by 1000. Hit OK. All right, and we'll go to file, save as, JPEG. This is front. And I'll hit command option Z. Good image canvas size. We'll go to the corner here. Go to pixels. This will be 1000 by 1000. Hit OK. Go to file, save as. And this will be JPEG side. All right, so then we can close this. Don't need to save it. Okay, so now we're over here in Maya, and we want to create a project folder so we can set up these reference images. So I'm going to go to File, and then go down to Project Window. And here I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to click on this button here, and I'm going to title this Bear Model. Okay, and then I'm going to select the location, and this is going to be in Documents, Maya Projects, and I'll just this is where I save all the projects. We'll leave all these default items here and just hit accept. So now we've set a project folder. We've created the folder and now it's set to that folder. So now I want to go to my finder and I'll go to documents and I want to copy my front, side, and top views that I exported from Photoshop. So I'll hit command C to copy and then I'll go to my Maya projects folder, bear model, and then go to source images and I'll hit command V to paste. All right, so now I can close my finder window and I'll go over here to my four panel view in Maya and I'm going to go to my top panel, go to view, image plane, import image, and I'm going to import the top view here. So now I'm going to go to my front panel, click on view, image plane, and go to import image and I'll import my front JPEG here. And then I'll go to my side panel, 
click on view, image plane, import image, and I'll click on the side JPEG right here. So now I'll take each of these planes and I'll move them out of the way so that I can model without any obstruction here. So I want to just move this down. I'll take this image plane right here and move it over. Okay, I'll take this image, move it back. All right, so now I'm going to create a new layer down here, and I'm going to call this ref for reference. And then I'll select all three of these image planes, and I'm going to right click and add selected objects. I'll hit the empty space right here until it shows as a reference, and now I can't move these around. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is create a cube in my scene here, and I'm going to go to shading and then x ray so I can see through the cube and I'll just scale this cube out and make sure that it's actually um, everything is actually lining up so again I need to go to x-ray not x-ray joints here alright so I'm gonna scale this down a little bit I'm just gonna make this so it's the size of the guy's head right here so let's see Okay, and we'll go up here, and I'm just going to go to vertex mode here and move these up. And if we look at this, it lines up, the box lines up in all these different views. The top of the head and the bottom of the head, this object um, lines up with the side view, the front view, and the top view. So you can do this for other areas of the model. For example, you could do it down with the feet here. You could just right click, go to vertex, and move this down. So now you can measure this. And you want to see are the legs the same height in the front view and the side view? You can see that they are. And that's because we carefully lined up our reference images in Photoshop. Okay? So I'm going to go to object mode here, delete this and this is all set up so now we can begin the modeling process for this project. Click on the animation disc in the center of the screen to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with new videos.